Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church have what we call a victim mentality. I recently learned about this in the last few months, and it's something I've been trying to get over. In part, I didn't embrace it, but in another part, I did. Basically, it involves you blaming other people when you fail in life. Now, certainly, there's going to be twists and turns, and other people are going to be causing inconvenience, but the theory behind it is you try to make good out of it, and you try to do it for your best. You don't make yourself look like a victim. It's all a matter of emphasis. Fred Phelps all the time talks about how Westboro Baptist Church is persecuted, how they're treated so wrong. On and on, one of his favorite words is persecuted. Indeed, they are getting a lot of flack from people. But it's all a matter of emphasis. He could emphasize other parts. He chooses what he emphasizes. His son, Nate Phelps, says he takes no personal responsibility for his life. And I think there's a lot of truth in that. If you do speak the truth, people aren't going to like it and they're going to cause you, they're going to try to interfere with you, they're going to try to get you down. But Eleanor Roosevelt said no one can make you fear, feel inferior without your own consent. There's a lot of truth in that. I'm not saying you have to like it when people attack you or say vicious things about you. But if you tend to ignore it, instead of dwelling on it, it's better for you. That's one hard lesson I have learned. Fred Phelps is not learning that lesson. And Westboro Baptist Church members follow Fred Phelps' leads and all the time complain about how badly people are treating them, how they're persecuted, how everyone else is getting them down. But instead, they could frame it differently. They could focus on the good things. There are other people out there who a lot of people don't like, who get people mad. It's not wrong to get people mad, but don't be a victim about it. For example, Ralph Nader gets a lot of people pissed off. Almost everything he has done in his life is good, including, most of all, running for president in the 2000 election. Gore can't take responsibility for himself, so he blamed Nader. Nader doesn't get on a pity pot because everyone is coming after him and trying to make his life difficult. No. He takes it as par for the course. Too bad Fred Phelps can't do that. I want to be like Ralph Nader and take it par for the course. I'm not going to say I'm going to enjoy it, but it's part of my mission. I want to be a maverick, so there's going to be a lot of aversion. It's not for everyone. It's something I choose. And Fred Phelps is choosing his mission. So instead of complaining, instead of being a victim, he can frame it in a different way. He can emphasize the good parts.